78. A mighty transformation came on her. A mighty transformation came on her. A halo of the indwelling deity, the immortal's luster that had lit her face and tented its radiance in her body's house, overflowing, made the air a luminous sea. In a flaming moment of apocalypse, the Incarnation thrust aside its veil. A little figure in infinity, yet stood and seemed the Eternal's very house, as if the world's center was her very soul, and all wide space was but its outer robe. A curve of the calm hauteur of far heaven, descending into earth's humility. Her forehead span vaulted the omniscient's gaze. Her eyes were two stars that watched the universe. The power that from her being summit reigned, the presence chambered in lotus secrecy, came down and held the center in her brow, where mind's lord in his control room sits. There throned on concentration's native seat, he opens that third mysterious eye in man the unseen's eye that looks at the unseen. When light with a golden ecstasy fills his brain and the eternal's wisdom drives his choice and eternal will seizes the mortal's will. It stirred in the lotus of her throat of song and in her speech throbbed the immortal word. Her life sounded with the steps of the world soul, moving in harmony with the cosmic thought. As glides God's Son into the mystic cave, where hides his light from the pursuing gods, it glided into the lotus of her heart and woke in it the force that alters fate. It poured into a navel lotus's depth. It poured into a navel's lotus depth, lodged in the little life nature's narrow home. On the body's longings grew heaven rapture's flower and made desire a pure celestial flame, broke into the cave where coiled world energy sleeps and smote the thousand hooded serpent force that blazing towered and clasped the world self above, joined matter's dumbness to the spirit's hush and filled earth's acts with the spirit's silent power. Thus changed, she waited for the word to speak. Eternity looked into the eyes of death, and darkness saw God's living reality. Then a voice was heard that seemed the stillness self, or the low, calm utterance of infinity when it speaks to the silence in the heart of sleep.